Thank you, Pamela, for joining us to raise awareness of the day for the elimination of violence against women. Thank you for having me. Fantastic. So how important is a day like this? It is really important because it reminds us of something that happens too often to many people we know. Almost everybody knows a woman or a man that have been affected by uh, domestic sexual violence. So it's very important for us to mark the day. Could you tell us about your journey and the work that you do to support the elimination of violence against women? I have over 20 years working in this space. Um, I started in Manhattan Family Court and then after supporting uh, frontline services all the way to doing uh, policy communications and today I'm the CEO of the No More Foundation focused on prevention of gender violence throughout the world. Um, and unfortunately, uh, Jeremy, what we see is the same issue that we see in one country, we find it in the other one. It is truly a global issue, and we're really looking for global solutions. Can you tell me, for those who, you know, we are all aware of this issue. We're all, obviously, it's, it's tragic that these things are taking place. Um, what are the key facts? I mean, what would you like people to understand about this? I want them to understand that uh, there's a fact that we always quote, right? Which is one in three women are affected uh, in their lifetime by gender race violence. And with facts, what happens is it just becomes really common. But when you start thinking about that, you know, if you went in a classroom, for example, five children are affected. This is a lot. It's happening constantly. It's happening around us. And so I think, and that means that as we have victims, we have perpetrators. And, you know, people who abuse don't have to look a certain way. They might be around us. They might be our friends. So I think it's very important for me that we grab those stats and make sure that we're just making them real and that we understand the scale of the issue to an individual watching who may well be caught up in a domestic violence situation, what would be your advice to them? My advice would be first, you are definitely not alone. This is happening to a lot of people. Um, there is a lot of information out there in almost whatever way you want to search for that help. You can call a support service, a hotline, an advocacy center, you can go to a web page, you can download an app do look for information. Uh, I think many people sometimes don't understand how severe their case might be or how at risk they might be. So it is important to understand that you're not alone, talk to somebody that you trust, and definitely look for help. If people, they've heard about No More, yeah. where do they go for information about your organization and what services do you have available? We run the largest global directory for domestic and sexual violence. It's nomoredirectory.org. Basically, you go in, you look for your country, and you'll find all the support services available in your country. So that, for me, is the first port of call. Please use it, nomoredirectory.org. And if you want to learn more about domestic sexual violence, do go to nomore.org. That's absolutely amazing. Well, listen. <sighs> We wish you the very best of luck with your incredible work. Keep going. Thank you so much.